I want to know where the big giant gold one went. this video a little bit of Easter a little bit of what we do on Mondays and getting prepped for um, springtime welcome back we have kind of a dirty job today <laughs> but it has to be done I'm Lonnie and I'm Dan the barber man <laughs> the barber man so we have Rex Millie. and June our two Aussies and Millie driving everybody crazy but um <laughs> Aussies, apparently the older they get, the thicker their coat gets. They just build up on it. And we've had Rex trimmed. And then June, she has more of the smoother coat. She doesn't have as coarse of hair as Rex does. And it's not as thick. So hers doesn't, she loses almost all of it in the summertime. Well, not all of it, but she, she thins out more to a slick coat. Where Rex, it's like his just keeps piling up. So we have taken him in before and had him groomed. But this winter, it has grown pretty thick. So we are trimming up their leg hairs and um, just some sanitary cut back there. And just kind of, uh, Rex also gets like dreadlocks underneath his um, his legs. So getting those cut off, cut off and trimmed up too. And um, then I think we're gonna get them an appointment and have a professional help us out because <laughs> it is some very thick fur. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty job. <laughs> She's loving it though. Look at all that hair. Oh, yeah. Great. June loves the attention. She's like, oh yeah. Get out of here, Millie. It's me today. I need to give her a bath. Look at her elbows. You can clean those up. So we're getting them all spring and summer prepped and then we'll get some we'll get some help with it one of my team teachers is actually going to bring in uh, some clippers that has some different guards on it so i'm going to try and get the back of their legs and um just do a better job right now they're so thick we need we actually may do we have some cattle clippers too May use that and trim up on their stomach for sanitary cut there too. Millie, it's not your turn. Come here. Millie goes and gets her hair cut next week. She got an appointment. Dude, just is like, yes. Give me all the love. <laughs> we'll give her some privacy for that part. <laughs> no, it's just getting that's that underneath side. Rex has already been started. This is his pile over here. That is not skunk. That's Rex. It's all his black and white hair. Okay. We got uh, Rex and June cleaned up. Now we're going to start on my flower beds. It's time. I'm excited. I'm ready to get our flowers going, my hanging plants. I'm going to get these old ferns out of my pots get things ready for spring it's supposed to be chilly tomorrow but I don't think like freezing chilly but soon oh it's kind of windy hopefully you can hear me we're getting ready to we're under a pretty good severe weather threat basically all of Oklahoma is I think or north north East Oklahoma is so I don't know we just be weather aware out there we'll see what happens 
Hopefully nothing. Just rain. We do need some rain. The weather is up after eight o'clock. Of course, it always is at bedtime. I know. <laughs> I was thinking it was kind of early. Yeah, it, it is muggy. Millie's not sure what to think. She's like, "Who's hot out here?" <laughs> it is 75 degrees, but the humidity is probably 100 <laughs> percent. Uh, maybe 110. <laughs> 110. <laughs> So it's not that crazy hot out here. Yeah, it's just the humidity is a little shocking. The dogs went from cold weather to this. Hmm, starting to sprinkle just a little bit. We uh, okay. Flower beds are weeded out. Dog hairs picked up. <sighs> we need to do our back porch sometime. Just when we work on that. Rex, look how much better you look already. We have to trim off some of that in the front. Yeah. He's a handsome boy. Get your big step, huh? Already looking much better. All right, Rex, come here. Let's see how you feel about this. Yep, Millie, that you brush. Mm -hmm. Come here, Rex. He's gonna stand in an awkward spot. Really? Mm, so good. Get these legs turned up too. You got a cockabird. Brush is getting them out good. Okay. Obviously, people, these cockleburs are terrible on their hair. I'll get you a brush like this. He always has these dreadlocks under his ears. Come here. <laughs> you not liking this? Come here. Come here. This last one dreadlocks back there. Get these dreadlocks like this. Thank you. 
her hair is so much shorter. Stick that in. Turned up as best we can. Get them an appointment. Let's get them cleaned up. Okay, we've got these swings right here, and this one it's not safe to sit on anymore. So I think I'm gonna move our big rocker right there. Got my wicker furniture that'll go along here. I don't want to get it out if there's gonna be high winds though. Wait. We can start kind of getting ready. that over there. Yep. And we'll get that swing down. That'll work. Where do I want to put that table? Right there. And we're trying to figure out the scrolling situation over here. Alright, Thomas. Let's move this. This could either go right here. I think it's too wide. Probably need to put that right there and then the grill can go here. Well, we have that, like over here. I know, but it's not enough room behind that, that swing. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, I'm gonna just put this.
two little girls doing? She's <laughs> getting a reading on. Yep. And Karen Kingsbury. Yep. Okay. How come? What are we watching right now? The Baxters. Baxters. So this is part of Karen Kingsbury's Baxter series. I've read all of them. Tatum's catching up. So if you guys have read the Baxters, it's good stuff. Now they have a series. Oh, he's excited. Yeah. Ah! Oh! <laughs> You're not done. Oh, got a <laughs> Billy's like, I want in on this action. <laughs> she gets so jealous. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Uh, Millie. Rex. You smiling? Huh? You smiling, Rex? You smiling? Huh? Right up, Millie. Okay, we got Rex and June trimmed up. Got a really pretty sunset. Oh, it's on the other side of the barn. Let's see if I can get it. So we want to close out this week. So we're starting this project on Monday. Just got it finished up. Um, we I borrowed some clippers from um, a team teacher and those did such a much better job is what I'm trying to say. Much easier getting him trimmed up. Oh, he's looking good now. He's so handsome. He's fresh and so clean. <laughs> he probably feels so much better. Right here, he's already got some things planted. Oh, look at that. Camera does not do it justice, but that is pretty. Peach and Hagrid babies are sleeping right now. They're not out. Here's June. Just let me trim her up. She needs a little bit more, but she's looking pretty good. Okay, and then I had a question on uh, my Bible study I was doing this morning, and I like to do um, precept ministries. It's precept upon precept. That one is actually a um, a book one and it is on the names of God and it said Lord I want to know you it was it's really good I'm enjoying it and learning the names of God and it goes in depth and breaks the verses down in the Bible and she kind of teaches you how to study it and then even look up the original versions of it so that's where that came from it's preceptministries.org 
for a um, couple that were asking on that. That was on one of my shorts, but. Dan and I are heading out on a date night. It's been a little bit. It's been a minute. It has. Tatum surgery is in basketball. So we're like, set the date, we're going. So we're gonna go watch a movie something to eat get something to eat then go watch a movie and I don't know see what else we we see tomorrow the kids Dan and Titus are playing in a basketball tournament over at um, town over where uh, Cassie teaches at a friend of ours that I've worked out with a long time and we traveled to, actually to Indiana with they are doing a benefit tournament for her we are going to go over there. Dan and Titus are going to be playing. Tatum's going to help coach, I guess. Look at this. It's, it's going to, well. yeah, it's going to drive her crazy. But she's going to go over there too. We got lots of good friends over that way. So go hang out with them and um, hopefully get some good money raised for for Stacy. And they're just a good family. So let's. Just be praying for her, if nothing else. I know they would greatly appreciate it. Oh, anything else? No. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed just seeing what our life is like when things slow down a little bit. Just working around the house and doing just our normal farm stuff. So appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for following along. And we will see you next time. Have a good and godly rest of your week. Bye.